question 41 for the May 2018 paper. So we we have the median of the numbers. Median is the middle number after rearranging in ascending or descending order. So over here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers. So we are, we are going to get two numbers in the middle because it is even. So let's we have let's cross out one, two, three, four. So this will be part and one, two, three, four. This also will be part. So then we'll find the average of these two numbers that will give us the median. So median will be equal to six plus seven over two. And that will be 13 over 2 is the same as 6.5. Now, question 42. When three coins and when three coins are tossed simultaneously, the possible outcomes are this. Where each represents a head and T represents a tail. What is the probability of randomly obtaining at least two heads? So at least two heads means we need to get two heads or more. So we have this is two heads, this is two heads, this is two heads, this is three heads, so three, two or more. That will be one, two, three, four. So four out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four out of eight, which will give you one over two. So the correct answer is one out of two. So this bulky thing, that's what I just explained over here. This is bulky. I don't want to scare you. So you can simply go like this. Just at least two heads means two heads appearing. One, two. One, two. Or one, two. Then one, two, three. Count all of them. Then express over the sample space. That will give you your answer. So all this bucket is what I just explained. Now let's move on to 43. 600 students write an examination. The probability of a randomly selected student failing the examination is one out of five. How many students are expected to pass? Wow. So we have that the total number of students is 600. 600. And the probability of a randomly selected student filling the examination is 1 out of 5. So we know that probability, the total should be equal to 1. Therefore, we need to find a probability that a student passes, which will be 1 minus the, the 1 over 5. This is the same as 5 out of 5. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 5. So that, that is the probability that a student passes. So to find the number of students who are expected to pass, just multiply the, the, the total the probability, that is the fraction, the proportion by the total student. And that will give you, you know, five will go here, five will go here, five will go here, which is 120 times, and four times 120 will give you 180. Therefore, the correct answer is 480, not 180, 480. I'll proceed to question, question 44. Item 44 refers to the following diagram, which shows the cumulative frequency polygon of the lengths in 
meters of 20 feet that are caught by two fishermen. The interquartile range of the length of the fish is so interquartile range is the third quarter minus the second quarter minus the first quarter, not the second quarter. So and in the first quarter. Now let's go. We have three fourth of the total frequency minus one fourth of the total frequency, a value that is corresponding to them. So the total frequency is twenty and three fourth is the fifteenth occurrence, then one fourth is the fifth occurrence. So we now come to the we now come to our graph and trace. So tracing this we have the 15th occurrence corresponding to this value here which is this is 3.5, 3.6, 3.7 then so this is 3.7 and this one is 1, 1.1, 1.2 1.2 so let's subtract 3.7 minus 1.2 give us 2.5 meters. So the correct answer is C. Now let's proceed to this. Which of the following diagram best explains a function? So for a function, we must have only one arrow coming out of the, the domain. So this is the domain, and this is the range. Oh, uh, this is the yeah code domain. Now you can see this one. We have two arrows coming out of only one. Two arrows coming out of only one. So disqualify, disqualify. Two, three, three arrows coming out of only one element. Disqualify. One, one, one. So that will give you the correct choice. Now, the 46th item, the equation of the line which passes through the point 0, 05 and has a gradient of 4 is. So the equation of a straight line is given by y equal mx plus c. Now the m is the slope which is the gradient or and, and the c is the y-intercept. So when we, when we compare to the given values, we have c equal 5, this is c and m is 4. So we plug into the equation to get y equal 4x plus 5. So the correct choice is option C. Item 47 refers to the following diagram of a number line. So we know all these values represent x and we can see that all the values are less than 1. So correct choice is S now for each item refers to the following graph of a straight line now the gradient of AB in the graph above is so we know the gradient is given by rise over run so we have a rise of 1 2 and a run of 1, 2, 3, 4. So that will give you 2 out of 4, which is the same as 1 over 4. So the correct choice 1 over 2, which is D. So we note that this is to the right, positive, up, positive. So if f of x equal 2x squared minus 1, then f of negative 3. We need to substitute. And this is the same as 9. So 2 times 9 minus 1, which is 80 minus 1, and that will give you negative and that will give you 17 positive. So this is a correct choice. Now item 50 refers to the following graph of quadratic function. So this is a quadratic function. The maximum point is this over here, and the coordinate of that point is two four. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Twenty-eight. 
thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe and also subscribe to my second channel now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe